today's presentation, we will talk about the second classification of antifungal agents, which is the topical agents. A number of agents that have antifungal activity are applied topically, either on the skin, in the ear, or eye, or on mucous membranes such as the buccal, nasal, and vaginal to control superficial mycotic infections. Preparations may be used in the form of solutions, lotions, sprays, powders, creams, or ointments for dermal application or in the form of arrogant solutions, ointments, tablets, or suppositories for intravaginal use. The concentration of active principle in these preparations varies and depends on the activity of the specific agent. Some typical antifungal agents that have been used with success in various conditions and species include iodine preparations, copper preparations, sulfur preparations, phenols, fatty acid and salts, and many more. Typical antifungals are also known as antifungal creams, liquids, or sprays are used to treat fungal infections of the skin, scalp, and nails. Clotremazole, Iconazole, Ketonazole, Myconazole, Tyoconazole, Turbinafine, and Amorolfine are some of the antibiotics used. Griseofulvin is come from Penicillium griseofulvum and a benzofuran cyclohexane antibiotic that is poorly soluble in water. It has a narrow spectrum fungistatic and active against most dermatophytes and administered orally for treatment of ringworm in dogs and cats, calves, horses, and other domestic animals along with a typical antifungal agent. It is also ineffective against candida and other fungi causing systemic mycosis and bacteria. High dietary fat intake promotes absorption of griseofulvin from GI tract. Its mode of action in Fujistan is it inhibits mitosis by interfering with the polymerization of microtubule protein and disorganize the spindle microtubules. It also affects cytoplasmic microtubules and antifungal activity in all dermatophytes. In terms of pharmacokinetics, the absorption after oral administration depends on particle size, enhanced by high fat meal. Actively growing fungus are killed whereas dormant cells are only inhibited, so that cure occurs only when infected keratinized cells are shed. Hence, treatment is prolonged. It also metabolizes in the liver and eliminated in the feces. In terms of toxicity, when prolonged medication, mild and transient side effects such as mild CNS effects, photosensitivity, GI disturbance, and teratogenic. And also, in dogs and cats, if it was given in an empty stomach, it could lead to vomiting. The administration of this drug is that the treatment should continue one or two weeks beyond clinical or mycological cure. Single daily dose of 50 mg per kilogram reduced to 25 mg to per kilogram once clinical or response of course. In ringworm infected cattle, as 10% mycelial mixture, 7.5 to 10 mg per kilogram for 1 to 3 weeks. The antifungal agents are fatty acids and salts, organic acids, dyes, hydrocycanolones, imidazole, polyene antibiotics, and miscellaneous. So first example is the benzoic acid. Bacteriostatic and fungistatic organic acid used as food preservative. This is effective against trichopython infection in cattle and men. Next is the salicylic acid. It is an antipyretic agent. It is having keratolytic and some fungistatic effect. It softens the crust and acts on the organism thus exposed. It is suitable for typical ringworm infection. The next is andesylenic acid that is used as 10% powder or alcoholic solution. It is a potent typical fungistatic that is effective against microsporum species. It has a higher concentration and it is an irritant, hence used in combination with zinc or copper salts to minimize the irritation. Copper is also an antifungal agent. 
it is a ringworm fungicidal because if it's astringent and caustic nature. It is used as cure in fungal mastitis in cattle. The next one is the talnaftate. It is active against dermatophytes but not against candida and bacteria. It is used typically with oral solfovine. Another example of typical antifungal agents is the cycloperiox olamine. It is a 1% solution that has broad-spectrum antifungal drug. It is active against all dermatophytes and candida species. It is used to treat dermatomycosis and candida infections. Next is the haloprogene, a 1% cream that is a synthetic antifungal agent used for treatment of dermatomycosis in dogs. Next is a morolfin. It is used to treat dermatophytosis. The next one is the terbinafin. It is occasionally used in dogs and cats typically. A 1% cream or orally. In terms of, of toxicity, it is well tolerated. Adverse effects in GI system and skin. It could lead abnormalities in liver enzymes and hematological parameters. Next is the clotremazole, a 1% cream or lotion. It has a broad-spectrum topical antifungal agent. It is a local application in mycotic keratitis and metritis in horses. 1% solution for aspergillus infections of cornea. And for a dog, nasal aspergillosis is treated through intranasal treatment. And for humans, it is used for the treatment of candida vaginitis. And for the treatment of mycotic endometritis in cow, infusions of 400 to 600 mg in saline every other day for 12 days. So in the treatment of yeast mastitis, 100 to 200 mg per quarter per day of 1% solution, a single daily dose on 4 occasions. So last is the myconazole, which is a 2% cream that is similar to clotremazole. It is most active topical imidazole, especially for candidiasis. It is a typical treatment of dermatophyte, candida, aspergillus, and malassezia. The combination of myconazole and chlorhexidine could create a shampoo that is more effective than selenium sulfide for the treatment of seborrheic dermatitis in dogs caused by malassezia.